And said, Noah, whatever you do, what? Don't drop the hammer. I know they'd have made fun of you by doing good in school. Don't drop the hammer. I know they've ridiculed you because it seems uncommon what you're doing. Don't you dare drop that hammer. And as we know, only eight people made it on the boat. And so we drive ourselves on to 2011. Is that the year we're in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we talk about what I handed around the tables. Many of you have looked at it. You know it obviously is going to bring the point right on to the house, right? Right on to your doorstep. There's a sculpture at your table of the self-made man, and it's created by a lady named Bobby Carlisle. The powerful image of a rugged, self-made man chiseling himself out of a solid block of rock captures exactly what I want to talk about tonight. Please do not think that I'm saying you can do anything without the help of God. Because without Him, you can do nothing. However, some people sit around waiting, and God's saying, hey, look, I'm giving you the tools. Notice God didn't go down and build the boat himself. And as a matter of fact, if you look at it scripturally, God said, and this is the fashion that you will make it. And these are the rooms that you'll have in it. And this is the dimensions of it. You have got to do it yourself. And so this sculpture is... It typifies every one of the young people in eastern North Carolina. Because every one of them are like a magnificent piece of stone. Aren't they? Some of them like granite, hard, and informable. <laughs> I'm just playing. But God equips every one of them. Don't you? I am. They wouldn't. See, oftentimes the young people, when, I, when they call me and I go there, they're like, Oh, Mr. King from Cleveland, yeah, giving away money and candy and signing autographs. And then when I get finished with them, they're like, Please do not bring that food back to our school. Because I am not much on excuses. I got a little portion of my life, I'll tell you very, very briefly, which will negate any excuse a young person could give why they are not being successful or why they're not at least trying So when you are, as a young person, or as an old person, or as a middle-aged person here, <laughs> when you're chiseling out your schoolwork, and everyone else around you is skipping school and thinking school is a waste of time, I admonish you, don't drop your hammer. You hear me? When you chisel out some time to give back to your own community, like imagine that, volunteering in your own community, and everybody else is consumed by video games and TV and Atari, and boy, Atari, that ain't even in this decade. I went way back on a bit, they don't know about that. Who knows about, it? Who knows about Atari in the house? Yes. Xbox, PlayStation, am I right with the right century now? Okay, here we go. When you're giving your time to make yourself productive and your friends around you are wasting away on the couch, I can only admonish you to do this. Do not drop 